Thank you for that. Uh, first, good evening, everyone. Good evening. It's truly an honor to be with you tonight, and I want to thank uh, Madam President Ager for her support and for her love, and for the entire Metropolitan Black Bar Association family, and for our co-hosts, and for all of you in whom my, and my colleagues in government who I understand were here earlier, the Manhattan Borough President Gail Brewer, Assembly Member Walter Mosley, and all of the other governmental officials who serve you each and every day. And let me also congratulate my fellow honorees, and it is not lost on me that all of the honorees this evening are women. <laughs> I'm really humbled by this award, but I often question why individuals give awards to elected officials, particularly since it's really our job to serve others. But like so many of you, I um, chose to pursue the law because I learned at an early age that the law was the most effective tool in our march towards justice. And it became apparently clear to me, particularly this morning, this morning, I had the privilege of attending a breakfast sponsored by Eagle Academy. You see, Eagle Academy is a network of schools dedicated to educating black and Latino boys. They have a 90% graduation rate, 90%. Their schools are located all throughout the New York City and in Newark. And that's 90% compared to the public school system with the same population where we are only graduating around 68% of young black and Latino boys. And so I was filled with pride as I watched these boys today march across a stage and list all of the AP classes that they have taken. Now these are not boys who in all likelihood would achieve. These are boys, the vast majority of them, who do not have fathers at home. Boys who come from public housing, boys who live in shelters, boys where the odds are stacked against them. But this morning, they marched across the stage. They talked about their AP classes. They talked about all of the colleges that they've been accepted to. They've talked about all of the scholarships that they were awarded, and I was filled with pride, and my eyes were filled with tears. And so Mr. Banks, David Banks, who's the leader of Eagle Academy, um, he really should be rewarded. He really is stellar. But as I look out over this room, I see countless number of champions of justice who you, too, continue to stop that prison, that school to prison pipeline by going to court each and every day and fighting for justice for so many young men, of men and women of color who are trapped in a criminal justice system which is oftentimes unjust and unfair. A criminal justice system which criminalizes poverty and criminalizes people who unfortunately suffer from mental illness. So today, I applaud each and every one of you who stand in the gap, who use the law as a stopgap against that school-to-prison pipeline. Because all throughout our history, we have been winning some fights and losing others. And all throughout our history, we have been on the battlefield for justice, sometimes two steps forward and one step back but nonetheless, we keep marching on. And it is up to each and every one of us in this room to build upon the legacy of this organization, to build upon the legacy of our ancestors, that we each carry the strength and the resilience of every person that has come before us and stood up for what is right and what is just. And to recognize that it's part of our DNA as children of the dream to fight for justice every day. And so I will continue to fight for democracy. 
And I will continue along with you to use the law as a shield to protect those young black and Latino boys and to protect others, particularly at this perilous time when our democracy is at risk. We've got to stand up and fight back and resist those temptations that would tear us apart and marginalize countless number of individuals, immigrants, Muslims, members of the LGBT community, and other unrepresented individuals. And so I say to all of you, let's keep that struggle alive. And let, I say, and let me lastly say to all of you, as I continue this journey, and hopefully become the next Attorney General of the state of New York, I will need your prayers. And just as you lifted me up as the first woman of color in the city of New York, may you continue to lift me up as we break down barriers and break down walls and stand up for justice. God bless you and thank you.